Yeah, so we're inside the view and now we start working on the maps that we're creating. So we'll work on terrains. Um, one thing what I'm going to do is create a standard terrain. And scale is not that I'm concerned at this moment, so I'll just resize it. Make it a little bit less um, easier to work with. Okay, next we'll go ahead and edit this object. And I'm going to reset. Also increase to my resolution, that is my image I created, 2048. And I'm going to preload. Okay, right here I have it mine. Um, let's go up. Okay, and you just refresh it. And right here we have it our height map. So I'll go click OK. And we can increase slightly. I just want a little bit on blend in. Click OK again. There's our map. Okay, on this one, let me take let me take main camera right now. Just come closer. A little bit up. And I'm going to render so we can kind of preview, see what we have it. Yeah, we have nice details. I think this is not the highest details, but it still provides very good for what we're going to do. Okay, here's our first set. Okay, next, I'm going to actually work on materials right now. I'm going to readjust. Let's put right here. We'll go to actually. You know this point probably just if we just look down slightly okay we'll go to terrain let's open material first I want a lot of base material for this and I'm just going to default and we'll flip those materials and simple so this is just basic our uh, material dark one so let's next work kind of on deposit them greening new and um, I'll just use the red plastic right now so you can preview ways link we'll go transparency go edit this function we'll add flow to this one and I need to inverse that flow and it doesn't look good because we are on our world standard so I'm click before OK I want to switch list boundary click OK we'll go to object parametric and now you can see we have it in a nice places applied so we can preview okay the one flow what I want to do it is rework create kind of a little bit more interesting colors on this yeah let's click OK readjust map and also on this map I want add grain to this so we can do by perlin noise decrease this down and also decrease wave link as well okay and I'm just typing in actually zero one you will notice it, it's add kind of like this little noise to this. Again, if you think that this is a little bit, a little bit too much noise, we can reduce or even you know, even make smaller on a noise even less. Just like noise, it's create kind of. Um, nice uh, touch to this okay so let's go we can kind of smooth out even a little bit more on this so it's have a noise but it's not that obvious more kind of like sand okay this is one and let's um, just rename it so I kind of remember what it is um, next we can add um, dissolve and other ones so let's go ahead create new 
and I'm again just used red plastic as base and this is will be where our um, materials was going down with deposits happen so let's rename it deposits transparency we'll go again create new and deposit right here inverse again click OK right here switch to world standard and this is a little bit red but I want to probably bring this below also it will add this slightly reddish right here see on the sides top so it's why I want to keep it in a nice flow below okay let's go next we need to work on erosion ways happen other one so we'll go create a new and let's do this one actually leave it white and we'll change colors after this zero right here actually yeah that is all on zero okay on um, highlights we're gonna bring a bit up again transparency edit here let's go to add and if I'm going a little bit fast, it's the it's same things what we used before. So I'm using wear on this. Okay, we'll flip the map again. Let's click OK. Wear and a bit parametric. So if we we'll look on this map, you can see we have it, some nice points on top. And probably white wear will work very well with this we can increase um, strength of this by going and add a curve kind of contrast curve to this but I think overall this one will work very well except maybe you know, just take it and and a little bit dirty kind of look to that okay and now I want to add a snow to this so we'll go create new And again, it won't be snow, but just in this case, I want to add so I know what map I'm using for this. Going again here, transparency. And for the snow, actually, I need to play a little bit, see which one we needed to use, if we need inverse or not. So snow map right here. Let me actually set this to object parametric. Let's go back now. And for this one, let me see if I inverse, let's go on top. But see how it's a white map, to, we cannot pull out anything. So I'm going to add a filter and see if I can bring contrast a little bit more in. So we have it right here. We actually need the inverse for that one back. And in this case, we need to go out other ways. Create a little bit of curve here. Just maybe bring this one curve slightly top down kind of smooth out okay let's preview this have a nice effect of course I don't want to use it all the string that we have it so we'll go okay and bring this below where and below flow and also let's take slightly down so we add this nice details kind of right here how I said before again we can play we can play leave it add more and see and we probably will do this when we start working more with the itself image 
So at this point, I want to click OK. And you know what? Bring, actually, let's shrink even down like this, maybe. Yeah, it's look better. Okay, so right here we have one created, but I want to create more than one. Um, we can go back to our world machine. Let's go to click advanced pearl and right here, random seed. Click a few times so you can create brand new, it doesn't matter. Click OK. And I'm going to render one more time and save as different maps. So we have it, two different maps. Okay, so right here we finish render. I'm just going to set these maps to, you know, actually, 16, this one will be better. Okay, just set all of them. And we of course need to go here and export all. So we save it. Okay, inside the view, I'm going to select this map and press Alt key and drag. You see, it's kind of duplicated. Next, I'm going to, oops, actually, I don't want to save this, but I want to edit this object. We reset this object and same loading picture. And I'm going to use it height too. Okay, we'll click OK. OK again. Just be sure we have the same height because I did not blend. Materials actually it's the reason why I'm keeping because it's much easier now. We have it right here. On that. So we'll go with deposits. And we'll have it our deposits to inverse. Okay, we have it our snow. We're preloading our snow map to click OK. We have it our flow Go to. So you can see it's kind of make it much easier and faster to do that. Okay, and well, same on aware. Let's go to second one and inverse. Okay, so we have a two maps. Um, actually, what I want to do, I want to create probably even more. So we'll take these two. Okay, press Alt and drag. So, and the same, I hold down Shift key and I'm rotating. So we can't duplicate that in this case, they won't look exactly the same when we rotate. And we also needed probably put one between them. So I'm just take these two and move them for now just on the side. We'll reuse them after. Okay, these two I want to actually put it on an angle, create kind of like valley. But if we do this, our peaks will go straight up. So I want them these peaks I want to go kind of skew a little bit to the left and this to the right just slightly. So let's do this. We'll select this terrain. We'll go to the twist and right here you can see we can move them left and right. I want to move them just slightly to the side. Okay, maybe you know we'll go probably about 30 degrees so I'm just slightly positioned this way. Now we can select that terrain, other ones, and go these peaks and this terrain slightly, maybe about 23 degrees, I think it's good. So now you can notice if we go and adjust them, bringing them kind of like to the middle. And right here is area where they combine, you can also just reposition these two terrains. Okay, let's take my main camera, bringing right here. You can see how the peaks actually look up because we skew them slightly. So they will look kind of more interesting this way. Okay, we can 
zoom out slightly. Okay, also remember we have those terrains far away. We can take one terrain, bring in, you know, maybe even shrinking, make it shorter, and just uh, readjusting. So it will fit a little bit better together. Okay, let's preview. You can see how we create this nice kind of going valley right here around and again with those peaks going straight so we want to do similar things with the back ones okay only we want to increase them in size so just make them a little bit larger okay next on this one same I want to skew them this way okay, we'll select this terrain and skew this this way okay so let's go ahead same twist it up and slightly out maybe bring right here. again if you see right this corner you see right here showing we maybe need it put it slightly this way okay let's go ahead and take other terrain do the same thing you can probably bring even more to this area Of reposition so we're all put it around see which one is look nicer and we have one more terrain we can so just take it and put right around this area okay let's go ahead click preview and right here we have our rocky terrain kind of set up we can bring a little bit more to cover here, but overall with nice peaks going around. So it's all set. I think our next step is um, start working on a lighting and we'll do this in our next part of the tutorial.